While nicknamed R2-D2 after the Star Wars droid due to its distinctive barrel-shaped radome and automated nature, the Phalanx Naval Close-In Weapon System is no playful toy. It's a relentless sentinel, automatically detecting, evaluating, tracking, and engaging high-speed aerial threats with extreme firepower. Its power is intimidating and walks a fine line between human oversight and machine autonomy. This feature is sometimes captured on camera. In a now viral video from spring 2023, the scene opens with the Mark 15 Phalanx close-in weapon system positioned on what seems to be a United States Navy Harper's Ferry or Whidbey Island class vessel. The system's enormous barrel gun starts to swivel ominously, locking on to an unexpected target, a civilian 737 airliner. As the Phalanx tracks the plane, likely in semi-automatic mode, a voice rings out, calmly shouting, No, no, no. Time appears to freeze as the hulking gun trails the airliner's path. This unsettling footage from mid-May 2023 provides a startling look into the fragile boundary between automated defense and unintended consequences. It prompts a disquieting question. What happens when a machine built for warfare automatically fixes its gaze on a civilian target? The Sea Wiz. In the turbulent wake of the Israeli destroyer Elliot's destruction by Soviet-made Styx missiles in 1967, the U.S. Navy embarked on a mission to develop a new line of defense. The Mark 15 Phalanx Close-In Weapon System, or Sea Wiz, was born. The Phalanx isn't just a machine, it's a naval sentinel. Using a radar system, it stands ready to track flying objects with lightning-fast reaction times. The speed of an incoming anti-ship missile requires an almost instant response, so the Phalanx was designed to act without human intervention. Since its inception in the late 1970s, the Phalanx has undergone continuous upgrades and overhauls. It took its first watch aboard the USS Coral Sea aircraft carrier, equipped to unleash up to 4,500 rounds of 20mm ammunition per minute. Nicknamed Sea Wiz by naval users, this last line of defense quickly earned its reputation among surface combatants. Today, the Phalanx guards the United States Navy's fleet and 15 other naval forces worldwide. Its adaptability is showcased in its multiple operational modes, from fully manual to semi-automatic, requiring handler approval, to fully automatic, where the Sea Wiz takes command under predefined conditions. Beyond the seas, the Phalanx system inspired a land-based version a land-based phalanx weapon system, known also as the Centurion, or Sea Ram. First used in 2008, while the naval phalanx targets anti-ship missiles and aircraft, Centurion, which retains the rapid-firing gun and radar system of the naval version, is deployed on land and mounted on mobile platforms, capable of intercepting and obliterating incoming 155mm artillery shells, rockets, and mortars. Friend or Foe Air crews worldwide recognize the devastating power of the Phalanx. But for all its might and efficiency, the Phalanx has its flaws. Its technology, while groundbreaking, has led to incidents that have marred its legacy. Some have even experienced its fury firsthand. During the 1991 Gulf War, the USS Missouri battleship fired chaff rounds as a countermeasure against an incoming Iraqi silkworm missile. However, when the USS Jarrett's Phalanx, then set to automatic mode, detected these chaff clouds, it misinterpreted them as an incoming threat. The weapon system engaged, firing on the chaff instead of the silkworm. This incident highlighted the system's vulnerability when relying solely on automation. Questions were raised about the Phalanx's ability to differentiate between actual threats and non-threatening objects, particularly in complex and rapidly changing battle environments. Fortunately, the system did not cause any direct harm, but this incident was a stark reminder of the inherent risks. Five years later, tragedy almost struck again. A close call. On June 4, 1996, the world's largest maritime exercise, the Rim of the Pacific Maneuvers, or RIMPAC, was underway. A United States Navy task force, including the Forrestal-class aircraft carrier USS Independence, participated 1,500 miles west of Hawaii. 
Pilot Lieutenant Commander William Royster and his bombardier navigator Lieutenant Keith Douglas were flying a Grumman A6 intruder, tasked with towing a six-foot radar reflecting target as a test for the Japanese destroyer Yugiri's two failing systems. The exercise aimed to gauge how rapidly the Japanese ship could respond to an aerial threat. With the jet flying at 700 feet and a speed of 340 knots, the target trailed 2.5 miles behind. Suddenly, the destroyer's crew mistakenly locked on to the intruder itself. In mere seconds, the American-made Japanese phalanx opened fire at a heart-stopping 3,000 rounds a minute. The intruder's engines blazed, and its hydraulics were knocked out. The aircraft began to spin wildly out of control. Royster and Douglas managed to eject just in time, watching their jet come down near the JMSDF destroyer. The shocking incident sparked inquiries from both defense secretaries. Initially blamed on mechanical failure, this near catastrophe was later attributed to human error. These harrowing incidents illustrate the profound complexity and potential dangers of operating a semi-autonomous weapon, signaling the fine line between control and chaos the technology like the Sea Wiz walks on. A close brush with disaster. In a concerted effort to avoid the perilous close calls like those in the 1990s, the phalanx underwent crucial upgrades. New forward-looking infrared, or FLIR, cameras, which sense infrared radiation, were positioned on the bore site. These cameras expanded the system's engagement capabilities and provided a central friend or foe identification to deter friendly fire. However, the semi-automatic version of this weapon still points itself towards a potential target. As phone cameras become commonplace globally, the automatic capabilities of the phalanx began to catch unsuspecting individuals off guard, generating terror and unease. Phalanx tracking incidents regularly emerge on social media platforms, with startling videos of the system locking onto civilian aircraft. A viral video from mid-May 2023 illustrates this disturbing trend vividly. A Mark 15 Phalanx close-in weapon system, seemingly mounted on a U.S. Navy Harper's Ferry or Whidbey Island-class vessel, can be seen ominously aiming its colossal barrel gun at a 737 airliner, probably in semi-automatic mode. As nearby sailors jokingly yell, no, 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 to the automated phalanx, it relents, lowering its barrel as the target passes overhead. Though there likely wasn't any real risk to the 737, such viral videos can incite mass panic, especially when actual anti-aircraft incidents have happened. Without proper context, the frightening images can become a nightmare for the ordinary viewer. The Future Throughout decades of dedicated service, the Sea Wiz has been methodically upgraded. Since 2015, the Navy has updated all phalanx systems to the Block 1B variant, incorporating automatic acquisition video trackers, optimized gun barrels, and enhanced accuracy cartridges. These advances combat asymmetric threats, such as small surface craft, slow-flying aircraft, and unmanned aerial vehicles. But the unsettling image of the Sea Wiz's Vulcan cannon zeroing in on a 737 remains haunting. The May 2023 viral video reignited concerns about autonomous weapons, particularly the potential dangers of artificial intelligence. This unsettling episode stoked the ongoing debate, even though the phalanx doesn't operate on AI as commonly understood. Researchers and technology leaders have repeatedly sounded the alarm about machines making autonomous decisions. Open letters against AI draw comparisons between its potential risks and catastrophic events like nuclear war or pandemics. Prominent CEOs have joined the call for standard guidelines to regulate AI, ensuring it can't be weaponized against humans. The time seems ripe for governments to intervene, dispelling the fear-mongering around autonomous weapons that viral videos like the May 2023 incident may spur. Thank you for watching this dark footage video. Give us a like and hit the bell icon to be the first to know about new content. For more behind-the-scenes stories of incidents caught on video, subscribe to this channel, and make sure to check out all our other Dark Documentaries channels as well.